under Lake, uh, there's a fairly easy way to build modules from scratch. You can either use a manufacturer module or you can build your own. So in this example, I'm going to drag out a online frame, which is a PLM 10,000Q. You could also do this offline if you wish to do so. So I drag these, uh, this pair of modules out. And the first thing I want to do is change this two aux into a two way. So I go into module store recall and I was previously in the JBL folder. So I'm going to go all the way up to default modules. Inside default modules, I go to classic uh, crossovers and I load up classic two way, click on recall. And now I have a classic two way on module a. So for now, I'm just going to modify module a there. We have a classic two way. If we go into the IO config, the first thing I want to do is just make sure my output matrixing and assignment is correct. I'm going to be reading from input number one, which is okay. And then on my output matrix, I just want to make sure and confirm that outputs, physical outputs one and two are the ones being used. Um, I can choose the different uh, sources of signal, but for now I'm going to work with the module output going to outputs one and two. So now that we're done with that, I am going to go first to my input gain and let's say my manufacturer spec of the two way box I have says that I have to uh, do a little bit of changes on my high frequency levels, maybe add two dB here on high frequency and have a minus three on the lows, for example. Maybe there's also a delay, so I can uh, type in the delay value, let's say for my low frequency, maybe the manufacturer is saying I have a 0 0.58 millisecond and I can add that in. Uh, with the limiters, we're not going to cover limiters at this point, but you can also have the option of adding the limiters. Once we're done with the level section, we go to the EQ section. The parametric EQ we're going to leave uh, just for the user to, to actually do some room EQ, add it with the group EQ, for example. But on the crossover, we can all see, already see the offset between the levels that I modified on the highs and the lows. And by clicking on the lows, I can just move the frequency. Let's say the manufacturer of this two-way box says the a crossover point has to be at 1100 hertz. So I add 1100 hertz. And there's my 24 dB Linkwitz Riley. I'm going to change it to, let's say, a 24 dB Butterworth. So I select my 24 dB Butterworth, and I'm going to say crossover set. And I can also follow uh, some of the parametric EQs that the uh, manufacturer requires, and I can add these in uh, graphically. And I will also show you how to do this on the um, on the IO config, which is the worksheet section, which is an, another option to add uh, all these filters that are required by the manufacturer. So I'm going to add a few filters there. I'm going to add a high shelf on the high frequency. And let's say, for example, this is my setting for this two-way box. If I go out of EQ levels and go into the IO config, I see tabs that say crossover aux and levels. And if I look at this section here, I can already see, for example, on crossover, that there's a frequency crossover at 1.1K and with a Butterworth of 24 db so that's the change i added and i can also see the eq filters the nice thing is with worksheets you can actually print this out or save it as a bitmap so finally we're going to store this module and we're going to store it into the computer in another example we'll show how to store it into a frame which meaning into the plm amplifier so i have my module highlighted i'm going to label it so i know this is my two-way label module my two-way And I am going to label exit and I go into module store recall and I'm going to find a place where I'm going to remember that I store this. So I'm just going to store it on the top level and I'm going to say new store. I'm going to keep it as my two way and click OK.